a lot of things changed since the last race tier list, so I made a new one. I know that something will change right after I post this, but whatever. Here are the things I'm going to take into consideration when ranking the races. Stats, race ability and exclusive moves like absorption, legend quest form, usefulness in PvP and grinding. The tiers from best to worst are S, A, B, and C. I'm not gonna go on any further, let's just start. Androids are going in B. Their stats aren't the best, a below average 0.9 HP multiplier, a great 1.2 agility and key control multiplier, but they heavily lack in damage. They only have 0.85 output multipliers for each damage type. Their race ability is automatic key regeneration, but they can't charge your yellow key bar, only the key bar you charge to use ultimate attacks. You need a high amount of key control to use this ability well, and it's only effective in PvP. In PvP you can invest enough points into key control to basically have infinite key attacks. This is very useful in PvP, as you never have to stop to charge, you can just spam your opponent if you have enough key control. Against NPCs however, this ability has no use. You have to delay key moves a bit after you fire them before firing another, as the NPC will just evasive if you don't. NPCs can use evasives however much they want. Any race can just use a key move then during the delay, charge up enough Kai to use another key move and continue. Androids have a 3.25x multiplier legend form, which is above average. This form can help compensate for their lack of damage, but it's more of a late game form to get. Overall, androids are a solid choice at the expense of not being that great for grinding. It really depends on what you like and that goes for every race I talk about. Bio androids are going in A. They have good overall stats, very good HP output with very ever so slightly under average damage output multipliers of 0.95 and average key control and agility outputs. You can be whatever build you want to be. Their ability is auto health regeneration, and it comes in handy in almost every situation. In PvP, this ability is arguably the most abusable ability in the game. You can make a key damage bio android, then make it mostly health dominant, and just sit in one spot and spam counters and Kai attacks. You regen health while using attacks, the only time you don't regen is if you're touching the WASD keys. This playstyle is regarded as cheese by the community and they don't take kindly to it. For grinding, the bio android ability is very good for things like raids and one player quests as you can run away from the NPC you're fighting and go regen your health instead of using senzu beans. They have a below average legend quest form with a 2.75x multiplier. If they are facing someone with a 3.25x legend form, they most likely will just use their level 400 form as it gives a higher boost. A 0.5 difference in multiplier is significant. If they had a 3.25x legend form they would easily be top tier, there is a reason they don't have one. I'm putting demons in C. They have been through a lot, but in the end they got nerfed quite a bit. They have good stats, but that's pretty much it. Their ability is no defense bar drain from blocking, which in PvP is only useful if you're fighting someone that spams key attacks. Against a melee player, you can't hold block or you will most likely just get your block broken. Lots of rush moves break block, so that's also another inconvenience. Grinding-wise, their ability is alright, it can be useful sometimes, but most of the time it really isn't. There's just not enough situations to make it relevant. They have a 3.25x multiplier legend form, but the thing that brings it down a lot is the fact that it's a giant form. You may think that their ability applies to all forms, it doesn't apply to the legend form. It used to, and it was very 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 overpowered and had to get changed. Now it behaves like a regular giant form, you regen defense at an extremely slow rate, so you're probably going to defense break yourself pretty fast if you're fighting someone who just uses long-range attacks. It is very easy to beat giant forms if you evade their grabs. The one good thing about the legend form is that you can stack Kaioken times 20 on it for an infinite amount of time, and you can use it for grinding in small bursts. Other than that, they are fairly average. Half Saiyans are in A tier. They have almost the same stats as Demon, just lower health and key control. You can be pretty much any build you want. Their race ability is double move damage at tread health. 
This ability applies to all moves, including ultimate attacks. At first, everyone thought that it was a bug that they applied to ultimate attacks, but it's gone too long without a patch to now see that it was intended. In PvP, the ability is very good. The only issue with the ability is the fact that you need to get to red health to activate it. You could very well not be able to use it at all if someone kills you in a defense break, maybe even without a defense break. The ability is excellent for stab damage. For grinding, the ability is also very useful. It's pretty much the same case with NPCs as it is players, you need to survive. You could be very low in a raid, then suddenly get hit, and you'd be dead. They do not have a legend quest form, but that does not hold them back, their ability can back them up. Kai are the worst race in the game, no question. They have bad damage outputs and weird stats in general. Their higher stats don't make up for the lack of damage. Their race ability is no drain from snap banish or snap chase, but it depends on your defense bar. The lower defense bar you have, the more snap banish and snap chase drains your stamina. Once you lose two defense bars, you start to get drained from snap banish and chase. The ability is literally useless unless you're fighting someone that can't hit you at all. For grinding, Kai is absolutely horrible. Their ability does not help them at all, and their poor damage is an annoying setback. Their legend form is 3.25x, but that doesn't fix their absolutely useless ability. The form is a late game item. I forgot to mention that anyone with 300 agility or more loses literally nothing from snap banish and a pretty small amount from snap chase. Many players have 300 agility or more. Mojans are S tier, they are one of the best races in the game. They have decent stats, not the best. They are a key focused race. They have two race abilities, Super Regeneration and Absorption. Both of these abilities are very very good. Super Regeneration gives 50% of your health and 25% of your key and stamina back, Absorption allows you to absorb any player that is within 100 levels above you or anyone that is a lower level than you. Absorption gives you all of their base stats, you can also absorb fusions. You can transform while having absorbed someone. Super regeneration works in PvP game modes like ranked and tournaments while absorption does not, as it is a one-shot kill. In PvP, super regeneration is excellent, just as long as you're able to get enough time to use it. It's best to use it when the player can't cancel it, so probably lowering their defense or using it during a knockback. It can completely alter the fight. It takes a good 5 seconds to regen which is a lot of time just sitting still. For grinding, Mojans are excellent because they can just regen in quests like raids. They can also absorb a friend or a fusion for very high stats and kill the NPC very fast. On top of all that, they have a 3.25x legend form. The only downside to this is the quest, to unlock the legend quest is very difficult alone. This is where their regen and absorption abilities come in handy. Frost demons are B. They have okay stats, but most of them are below average. They have the highest key damage output in the game. Their race ability is faster key charge, it only applies to the yellow key bar, not the ultimate key bar. In PvP, frost demons are mostly good for stab damage, you won't see a frost demon using physical attacks much at all, only to knock the opponent back. Most frost demons are glass cannons. Glass cannons are builds that are mostly damage with a tiny bit of health. Their ability is good for gaining key fast and getting out of a sticky situation. For grinding, frost demons are excellent. With the fast key charge, they can dish out key attacks quite fast even with the delay you have to use, so the NPC doesn't use an evasive. They have that big key damage multiplier, so they do lots of damage to NPCs if you invest in key damage. They have a 3.25x legend form, which is great. Canassans are A tier. They have average stats, focused around physical damage. Their race ability is faster stamina regeneration than other races. This prevents you from exhausting your stamina easily. In PvP, this ability is very good if you like going for damage rather than lowering their defense and going for a defense break. Even if you do go for the break, you will regen stamina faster and it allows you to do more before you exhaust all your stamina. You can use a long physical rush, then regen almost all of the stamina it took during the move, then use another move. It is very useful for lots of situations. For grinding, Canassans can use lots of rush attacks without getting exhausted immediately. They only have a 2.75x legend form, 
which is a significant downside. Tuffles are C tier. They don't have good stats, most of them being below average. Their key control stat is high, but they only have 0.9 key damage output compared to the 1.15 physical damage output. They are like the opposite of Kai, their race ability takes stamina instead of saving it. Their race ability is stamina drain from punching, but it's based on your opponent's defense bar. The lower your opponent's defense bar is, the more stamina you drain from them. You do not get the stamina you took. For PvP, the ability can be a good counter to runners, as when your stamina turns yellow, you fly slower. They can also prevent people from using lots of rush attacks by draining lots of their stamina. For grinding, Tuffles earned that great since the ability doesn't work against NPCs. Their physical damage output is high, yes. That's pretty much all they have. They only have a 2.75x legend form, which isn't helping their case. Namekians are B tier. They have good stats, very generous to key damage. Their race ability is regeneration. It gives 25% health back, 50% key and stamina. It's the exact opposite of Majin regeneration. In PvP, this ability is useful, if you're low on health, you're better off just charging, if you want some key back. The 50% stamina is kind of useful, if you're a physical build Namekian, but you're just throwing away the better key damage stats, if you do that. For grinding, the regeneration is very useful in raids and one-player quests. Namekians have good key damage, so they can take care of NPCs rather quickly. Saiyans are B tier. Before you go to the comments and start being overly biased about them, listen to what I have to say. Saiyans have okay stats, they have below average health, agility and key control. They have good damage outputs. Their ability is double basic attack damage at tread health. Basic attacks are punching and key blasts. In PvP, it's almost the same case as half Saiyans. You need to survive to use the ability. The thing with the Saiyan ability is, you have to get close to use the physical attack part of the ability. The key blast part is mostly useless, you will never find yourself using it. With the half Saiyan ability, you have an arsenal of long range moves, while Saiyans are forced to go up to the opponent. For grinding, Saiyans are excellent when the ability is active. They melt NPC health like no other race, as long as you have a decent amount of physical damage. Again, you need to survive to use the ability. They have a 3.25x legend form which helps them a lot more. Yard rats are A tier. They have above average stats and are mainly key focused, but can be good as a balanced build. Their ability is fast key gain from punching, physical moves apply to this as well. In PvP, this ability can be used very well. It can be used to get key while dishing out physical damage, then you can use a key move right after, repeat. You can also do this in a defense break, some key attacks don't have knockback until the last hit, so you can cancel right before the last hit, and you can punch for key, then do it again. You can also gain blue key bar by punching. Fast moves like space mock attack can infinite loop, because it has enough hits to fully regain your blue key bar. Everything I just said, can be done for grinding as well, yard rats excel in both fields very well. They also have a 3.25x legend form on top of that. Humans are B tier. They are the most balanced race in the game, with all of their stat outputs being 1. Their race ability is faster max power key charge, which is the blue key bar. This ability is very useful for both PvP and grinding. In PvP, you can charge enough max power for an ultimate in a single second. You can use ultimate attacks very often, this is good, because it allows you to make your build whatever you want, let's say your build lacks damage, and you can use the quick ultimate preparation to compensate for that. For grinding, humans can spam ultimate attacks at a fast rate, key damage is very good for this. It's possible with physical damage as well. Humans are kind of let down with their legend form with it being the worst one in the game with a measly 2.25x multiplier. Bojacks are the best physical damage race in the game in my opinion. They have very very good stats, the highest health output in the game, 1.2, and a 1.15 physical damage output. They lack in key control and agility, but the insane health and physical damage outputs make up for those tenfold. Their race ability is 25% damage reduction at red health. They take 25% less damage when at red health. If you think about it, that's literally Namekian regeneration, but without the stamina or key gain. 
The thing that's good about it is that you get it automatically, and it can't be interrupted. In PvP, Bojacks can be steel walls and also hit like trucks. You would only need 300 agility to keep up with other players, and that isn't much for the poor agility output. For grinding, Bojacks excel for the same reason as they do in PvP, they hit hard, but also take hits very well. They also have a 3.25x legend form to amplify all of that. This is the final tier list, if you have any disagreements, you can post them in the comments or you can join my discord server and post your own race tier list there. Try to be civil about your disagreements. I will give you a link for the tier list I used. Thanks for watching. Let's have a good start to 2022.